The Voice 22 loudspeaker is meant to be an audiophile speaker, but to please to pretty much any music lover, and meant to be aesthetically pleasing. The Voice 22 is a two-way design that has a 28 mm dome tweeter and a six inch woofer. The woofer has a cast aluminum basket and mineral filled polypropylene membrane with a long toe suspension and has a copper clad aluminum wire for reduced moving mass. The tweeter has a textile dome with a large surround that fits directly into the custom made waveguide. Like the woofer, the tweeter uses a copper clad aluminum wire for reduced moving mass. A key feature of the Voice 22 is its waveguide. First, it allows for optimum time alignment of the drivers. And what that means is they have both the same acoustic center. The waveguide also controls the directivity of the tweeter to match the one of the woofer where the frequencies overlap. What it means is you get similar dispersion from the lowest to the highest frequencies. The crossover point is at 1.5 kHz, which is unusually low for such a design. Something that the customers don't see is the crossover itself. And as an electronic manufacturer, we are fastidious about how it's made. The crossover has dual layer PCB and a lot of high quality parts, such as metallized film polypropylene capacitors and air core inductors. Another thing you don't see are the internal walls. This is another key feature. It uses a patent pending CGD technology that we developed for the Voice 22. CGD stands for curved groove damping. What it is, it's a groove that flows around the internal side of the panels that is filled with rubbery, heavy material that dampens the vibration. And because the length between the edges of the panel and that groove is never the same along the lines, it reduces the resonances. Finally, as you can see on the back, the port is flared, but it's flared on the inside too. This helps to eliminate the air turbulences and also diminish the Q factor. A cool and unusual feature of the Voice 22 is its overbase. When you put the speaker on the table, the overbase provides a nice look because it appears like the speaker is floating above it. The overbase has poron material underneath it that protects the furniture and also stabilizes the speaker. The overbase can also be removed in such a way that you can place the Voice 22 on its dedicated stand. The Voice 22 is available in black or white with beautiful gloss finishes. A final touch is the trim ring around the drivers. One of the challenges I realized while testing the Voice 22 loudspeaker is that the frequency response on axis is almost meaningless if you don't look at the off-axis frequency responses. And working in electronics, you have actually one frequency response. So that's in part a difference between what I've been used to work with and with loudspeaker. That is quite uh, different. You really can't trust the on-axis frequency response. You cannot trust it. Because we absolutely took into account the fact that it's the global frequency response on many axes that counts, way more than just the one straight on axis. I think that the biggest difference between loudspeaker design and electronics design is the way you listen, it's completely different. Because everything is obvious almost with speakers. You change the smallest thing and then it's huge dB differences in, in, <laughs> in frequency response or perception. While in the electronics, the difference are tiny. Not that they are not important, but they are way smaller than the tiniest difference you make in a speaker. Because the tiniest change make a big difference. Semozio has been designing electronics product for 40 years. So now designing a loudspeaker that is this good is super exciting and we're really proud of it. <laughs>